Hey, it's Uncle Chubbs. Now, for this continent, this is the video we're going to do it for. Uh, it's the Isle of Conda. Now, pretty much with this, it's a very small continent comparatively to all the other ones, and it has not that many countries comparatively as well. But we will start out. Now, this country has the nickname the Gateway Country. It also created a shape, almost like a gate, in a sense. But that's not necessarily also why. But we got Stella, Puncho, Zef, Typhor, Tendon, Zorin, Falo, Henor, Huge, and Geno. Now, all these countries, they're very similar, but they're also diverse. They're ran by different people, so they do have different rules. But the one thing that's special about this country, I mean continent, my bad, is that there is rules and laws, but not too many are enforced. There, this is a great place for, like, pirates, criminals... Anyone on the run, drug trades, animal trade, people trade, anything trade, anything really. There's a lot of stuff going on. This is also a great area for gang wars. A lot of gangs take over areas for a lot of reasons. And as you can understand, gangs do gang things and gang wars happen. Now... These gangs do, do, my bad, control parts of the rest of the world, but it's mostly disputed here because this right here is the greatest money-making continent in the world. Now, the reason being is its location. Really close to this country. I'll move that. I mean, that country, yeah, well, it, uh, yeah, it's close to that country, but it's also close to that continent over here, very close to that continent, very close to two different continents, almost on opposite sides of the world. Over here, a little longer journey, but to this place, and over to here, as long as you go around, or if you want to risk the dangerous journey, you can go straight through. To this continent, I don't. I hope I said continent for all of them. If I didn't, I mean continent. But its place allows it for great shipping, a lot of imports, exports, trade, everything. Anything you can think of comes here and leaves here, and that makes the people who get a lot of money bribe others and make them more lenient. So everyone makes money, and if they're not making money, that's where conflict begins. Or if other people are making more money than others, more conflict. And overall, this country, continent, I'm going to hate myself after this if I continue doing that, but it's a temperate zone, and that stating is pretty much, it has very constant weather throughout the whole continent there we go and overall it stays rather mild it can have four seasons in certain spots like from the, uh, pretty much around this area and some of here has four seasons some of here have kind of like three um, there's not really and uh, a heat heat effect from the equator on this planet. This planet geographically is a lot different speaking. Um, you wouldn't ex expect right here in the center to be really hot here. I mean, you would, but it actually isn't. The whole country, uh, the whole world actually. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, the whole world at this line is like a temperate zone, except for this con uh, continent, which we will talk about it in another video. And the rest of the world is kind of cooled down because of how big this planet is comparatively to our world. Mm -hmm. 
that more or less gives us more room, more space, and more other things, but I feel it made the planet a lot is cooler nor the near the middle. And so Konda is pretty much the best money maker, very dangerous for gangs and gang activity. You can possibly buy and look for anything here. And the cool thing about Konda is if you're at any other continent, you can most likely find travel to there. Depending on what you're looking at doing in this world, this is a great place to be. Otherwise, I wouldn't really go there because very specific interests are look for, looked at here. And to make money, you best be ready to be doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing. Unless if you're doing other things, which we, it's all up to whatever you're doing and what other people are doing. And there's a lot of ex ex exceptions, my bad. And pretty much this place, chill, lenient, crazy though. Really diverse geographically and culture wise, very same, mild. Um, the people can be rather violent depending on who you're talking to, while others are very nice and generous. Um, you can think of it as like a, a third world country, uh, law wise. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Thank you for watching, and I'll be posting more soon.